so forgive me if I kind of jump all over the place here. Um, but this is, I just caught it today because, and this is how reporters and news, they might show you the news, but they don't show you the whole story. You have to literally look in the background and pick it apart. Because this was so obvious and so it's so obvious that they hit it on purpose. He's pointing out these papers that you see in the background. I don't even have the original copy, so forgive me the crudeness of these photos. But I just kind of blew up the ones they had, and because they're faded with their, like, graphics, it's hard to see, but I did the best I could. You can tell the words enough to get the gist of what is being said here. Okay, and remember, this investigation happened before Angel's death. And I believe it was before the other children were removed, or right as they were, I'm not sure. But it, he notes the lack of supervision in this investigation. And, you know, that's interesting because that's the one thing that was found to be unsubstantiated, meaning false. So of course that lady's going to admit to it. Of course, you know, I'm like, why doesn't she defend herself? I get it now. Because there was a substantiated claim at the exact same time. And that one, they don't talk about. That one is sexual abuse between children and all kinds of other violations. When they say, oh, we'll look into it. If anyone was, if there were any violations, we'll do something about it. Well, it says here in your own report, several. Like, I, I can list at least five or six that it cites exactly the statute and the, the licensing statute that it violates. This is before he dies. You couldn't see the trampoline. There was a five-year-old on a floor where the foster parent wasn't. They have a mentally challenged boy, I, well, I don't know if it's a boy, a mentally challenged kid who is touching the other kids has already been found, or allegedly, this is, had been abusing his own siblings. They put them in the same room together. Okay, that's a huge violation. The social worker knew this. And then the other children start acting out sexually. But the other children did not have those behaviors before they came into care. And, yeah, I wish I could disclose more, but... Because I knew the other child, the one I knew her after this happened. But I cannot because I don't know what my, my regulations on privacy are. Um... But this is mishandled. So outrageous that people are not holding these people accountable. And I guarantee you the investigation went nowhere. No one was disciplined. No, no policy has changed. And the arrogance of the administration when they sit there and they act as if nothing was wrong. And they have no responsibility. These children went into care because of what is stated as what, she had personal problems and legal issues and was homeless. Now, when they go into care, these kids I know had special needs and they, so they get more money. Do you know how much money is spent on psychiatrists and therapy and all of these things? And then the foster parents get an allowance, all of those things. You add that all together, I guarantee you. It's way beyond what it would have taken to help this lady get some housing. Because if she was doing drugs, they would have told you that. If she was physically abusing them, they would have told you that. If she was sexually abusing them, they would have told you that. If it was domestic abuse, they would have told you that. Legal issues, I don't know what that means. I'm assuming it's some kind of probably petty crime and she's going through the courts and personal problems. I don't know what that means. But trust me, if it was an actual crime or an actual abuse, not an opinion of this woman's ability to care for her kids. Because I don't care about your opinion of people. I care about facts that are provable. Facts that you prove, you have proven against this home, this woman. You could have simply helped the mother, kept a family together, and not ruined how many lives? Ended one. And ruined how many lives? By this. And the people are not held accountable. So it goes on. Every day it goes on. There are children 
that need your help. There are children in homes, there are children in mental institutions, in jail, treated like animals. And it's the most sickening thing when you sit there and you go, absolutely not, absolutely not, we didn't do anything wrong. And they just look at you with a blank stare, as if they don't know why you're coming at them with this, this stuff. I mean, it's not my fault. I'm just Child Protective Services. It's not my fault that they weren't protected. It's not my fault. It's exactly your fault. They're in your care. I want people prosecuted for these deaths. They're not even fired. And until we hold them accountable, it just goes on and gets worse. And trust me, this was 2010. It's not better, people. Those same people are probably still working there. They're still not doing their job. They're still lying about it, getting caught, and not being held accountable. And the news hiding the fact that there was substantiated sexual abuse going on in this house before Angel's death. That is the big thing here. It's not brought about. It's lack of supervision. No, lack of supervision that led to abuse. And just outright, it has to either be purposeful or stupidity or whatever it is. Somebody should be charged with a crime. Somebody should be fired. And policy should change. And we need to change it. We can only change it if we know about it, first off. So, Seven News, you hid this on purpose, in plain sight, like always. People, the news is propaganda. They are paid liars, even the good ones. I thought this was a good guy and a good report. It's hiding it right in front of your face as if to taunt you. Right in front of your face. It says, sexual abuse substantiated. And they show it to you. And I didn't see it. And I have a personal investment in this case. It's really mad. It infuriates me. It makes me so upset right now. Because if they can do that, it's like, what can't they get away with? They laugh at us while they abuse our kids. And society is paying the price for our families being taken over like this. It, just look around you. It's a world full of damaged people. Why? Because of the breakdown of the family. And this is, this is got to stop. Shame on you, Channel 7, for doing this. I actually was so happy with you. I really was impressed. You almost could have done something, but you chose to laugh at us and hide this intentionally from us. If it wasn't, please show me. Do another expose, just as in-depth, just as large scope, and actually follow it through to the end, to some accountability. Follow it through. I'm so sick of hearing cases that are never followed through on. We don't know the outcome because the outcome is bad. We don't want to know it. Demand some freaking accountability. Much love, God bless.